Hello again. If you're watching my second video on how to draw, you'll remember I was explaining to you about the two hemispheres of the brain and about how we need to turn off this left-hand side of the brain in order to access this nice little arty bit in our right brain. And one of the ways I explained we could do that is to confuse the left-hand side by turning things upside down. So we did a little bit of that in the first video when I got you to do your signature and I'm just expanding that and making it just a little bit more complicated for you. So what I want you to do, I want you to find a line drawing. Now, you can find one of these, um, you find loads in children's colouring books um, or if you haven't got a child's colouring book, then you just go on the internet. Maybe something you're interested. I mean, if, if horses are your thing, then type in horse line drawing. Let me just say at this point, um, it's fine to download things from the internet if you don't pass them off as your own. You can get around the copyright for educational purposes, but you mustn't then um, pretend that that drawing is yours, and that applies to photographs as well. But it's perfectly fine for training purposes to download a line drawing. So let's say horses are your thing. Um, so I want you to go and A4 would be quite good if you could um, find a, a line drawing, something like that. When you've done that, I want you to quite carefully draw um, a line around it. So let's go with Yoda here in the child's colouring book. So I've just measured off that and measured off that. Um, and I want, it's, it's quite important to have a fairly accurate box. So I would draw my box around Yoda. And the reason I'm drawing a box will become clear in a minute. So you've either got something like that or you've got something like that where I've drawn this box around it. Then on a separate piece of paper, can you draw um, a box exactly the same size? So you've got something like that. And again, with a ruler and make sure it's, it's exactly the same size. Now this is the important bit. What you absolutely have to do is you have to turn that upside down, not you upside down, that upside down. I actually prefer to have um, a drawing on a drawing board. I've just, you see, it's just an old piece of ply. The reason I like that, I quite like to sit and draw like this. I find it far more relaxing than at a table. You know, you can put your feet up and you can draw. It's entirely up to you, whatever uh, you feel you're um, the most comfortable. So there we are. Now, if you remember from my first video, I introduced you to Pentamenti and I showed you how to hold a pencil. And I tried to get you into this frame of mind where you relax. Um, because by relaxing, we chip into that arty bit. So here's my drawing, it's upside down. Um, now, I'm just going to try and work on it all the way around. So there's a little bit of a, little bit of a line kind of thing that goes like that. That is not a hoof. Don't start naming things. If you name things, then the brain comes in and thinks, oh yeah, that's a horse, I can do horses. Um, so it'll destabilise you, so don't name anything. But there's kind of something going on there. So that started me off up there. These pentamenti look lots and lots of lines, it's very rough, and it'll probably come down something like that. Now I'm gonna leave that for a moment, and I'm gonna to go to this shape here. There's something round about, I would say, and again, this may be in the wrong place, doesn't matter. Um, it's something like that. Um, and then it kind of sweeps around. That might be right, it might be wrong. Um, and then I come down here. Now, what I want you to look at is here. Look here, can you see? Don't, no, not horse's head, it's not a horse's head. If I start thinking horse's head, then in my brain, I'm gonna start wanting to do something like that, right? Um, that's a pictogram, so don't ever name something. But I want you to look at this shape here, because this is the shape I'm going to be drawing. now. If that may help you, look at that shape there. Right, kind of get that into your head. Sometimes it, it helps to squint. When you've seen that shape, now can you see that shape? And that's the shape I'm going to draw in the corner. I'm going to draw something like that. Now that may be right or may be wrong, but it's something like that. And then I'm going to do a kind of a, there's like a bit of a squiggly thing there. 
Remember, don't name it, it's nothing. Um, and this is the reason we turn things upside down so that we're not naming them. So it's something like that. And then I might go back up here again and I might, so all the time what I'm doing, I'm blocking in, I'm kind of blocking in um, the whole picture. So something will probably be happening around there. Um, and it, that'll, so it, you, you end up with lots and lots of kind of vague squiggles. Now I've got one here somewhere that I spent half an hour on. Um, this is this is what you're going to end up. Can you see? I mean, look how many lines, how many lines are there? That's all that lovely pentamenti. I must have done about 30 lines. When I've kind of blocked it in, this will be all wrong still, I then strengthen it up. Now, I would do all of that before I allow, allowed myself to turn it round. But again, going back to this shape here, I want you to see, where's the line going again? Again, can you see this? You look at it there. Again, put, fix that into your head. That can only be seen by the arty bit of your head because it's a nonsense shape. It doesn't have a name. Now, can you see... Now, can you see that shape there? And again, that is the shape I drew here. I drew, I drew that. Now, let's just see how accurate I was. Um, that's all right. It's not, it's not particularly accurate. It's a bit, I've obviously gone, I'm spitting on it now. I've obviously gone a little bit wrong there. It doesn't matter. It's never going to be absolutely accurate. So when I've got to this stage, I'm then starting to really use all those wrong lines. I mean, look at that. That's, that's, those lines are way, way out. Just show you the difference. You see, that's quite strong now. This, I've still got quite a bit of work on, but I would work on it upside down. While you're doing this, you will panic. You'll get five seconds into it and you'll panic. You'll get 10 seconds into it and your brain will say you can't do this. You'll get 20 seconds into it and you'll be um, tempted to put it down. Don't. Don't. Just keep going. I promise you, after 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you will relax and you will be able to do this. Expect to spend about 30 or 40 minutes on that drawing. That's the speed at which you're doing. If it doesn't work, go and have a cup of tea and try it again. But it will work. Thank you for watching. Bye.